show you this is the game. We're now the K1 chip. Yeah, so this is Project Tango, the tablet. Um, we're working with a lot of partners to uh, integrate games, um, other consumer retail level uh, applications. Uh, start with Zombie Gunship. This is made by Linux Labs, a game company. They had a very popular game called Zombie Gunship on iOS and they ported it over to the Android platform. What, what Tango does is it tracks features and integrates into the IMU so it has relatively accurate uh, tracking of movement. So now this tablet becomes your, your input device, right? There's, you don't need the controllers to get in there, right? And I, and I can put the tablet down and zoom in. But the action of doing that is that's more natural to me than you know, trying to understand the functionality of joysticks and, and trying to map those to actions in the real world. Okay. Um, Right. That's just, that's more natural than me, to move around in space. That's, you know, the, the tablet now has understanding of the real world and spatial relationship, uh, like humans do. Um, so, like I said, it, it tracks features, human beings understand where they are um, based on entering a room and they notice features and they, and they know that if they've been somewhere before. Try this one. Oops. We'll try that one again. <clears throat> so here we are developing you know, depth data with textures. Um, it'll get a little wonky because people are walking through like this, these two gentlemen, but. There you go, you get the understanding. Uh, it's gathering that. There we go, you can see people. There. And you can see a gentleman, he's on, he's on the floor on his knees, you can see him right there unpacking his bag. Right? Yeah. And, and it's catching up, it's recreating that mesh and texture. I'll get out of here, I want to go back to the point cloud so you can get an understanding of how it sees, what, how it captures that data. There you go. So you can, you can, you can definitely see that there's, those are people, that are figures walking through. Um, captures the point cloud in front of them, behind them. We just have to move around. So you now you're able to capture anything in 3D space. Again, the spatial relationship. Um, it understands, I mean, we understand general distances without knowing it, but with de the depth data that this, this device uh, computes, it, you can get accurate information. So like one of these cases in the retail space, shopping at Ikea, you scan your own room, go to Ikea, drop in Ikea, 3D model into your room that you've scanned all of. Now you have an understanding of what does this couch look like? Because now you have both. You have the, you have that real information from your home. What do you think? Any questions? Or? Thank you. Sure.